I'm going to do my best to run the whole 5K today. Go! This will be Eddie Nolan's 42nd Terry Fox run. He's never missed one. Despite being diagnosed with stage 4 throat cancer in 2011, he relies on a feeding tube and was in a coma in March after a heart attack. Yeah, one more done. I think of Terry Fox. When I get down and I get depressed and I get feeling sorry for myself, I think of what Terry went through. Inspiration that lives on decades after Terry Fox first began his Marathon of Hope. Millions of Canadians took part in more than 560 communities, from the Yukon to Halifax to Vancouver. Terry's dream was a world without cancer. Pretty noble dream, but um, it won't happen in my lifetime. But if we keep doing this each year, it gets better. Since Fox began his run, more than $850 million has been raised for cancer research, and after two years of virtual or individual events thanks to the pandemic, runners were glad to be back together. I'm running for my mom. Uh, I'm running for my grandpa. I lost a granddaughter to cancer 14 years ago, and then my husband five years ago, and many others, and that's why I come. Even if you go slow, there will be people still with you. Okay, push it now. Go. 10-year-old Brayden Ho ran with his dad to honor Terry Fox. Good job. I think that he's a hero that saved tons of lives. The ongoing success is something Terry Fox never imagined, according to his brother, now running with his own grandkids in their hometown of Port Coquitlam. Survival rates in cancer are so much better than they were 10, 20, 45 years ago when Terry was diagnosed. So that's what he wanted to do. It wasn't about Terry Fox, it was all about making a difference in other people's lives. A difference that continues decades later. Susanna De Silva, CBC News, Port Coquitlam.